1 Corinthians 11.14 says it is a shame for a man to have long hair. The Bible also says that women should wear coverings on their heads. This is just another example of why some commands in the Bible were cultural and are now outdated. Actually, the point being made is not outdated at all. This is another example of why context is so important. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian church where some of the women were trying to take on the roles of the men. Specifically, married women were uncovering their heads like the men so they could preach. But women are not called to be pastors, elders, and overseers. That is a role that God has designated for a man to fill. And like in 1 Timothy 2, Paul explains using the order of creation, so we know that his argument is not merely cultural. But there are some cultural examples being given to help us better understand. Why do men typically have short hair and women long? Well, since a man was created first, he displays the excellence of God and covers less of his head. But woman displays the excellence of God's design, so she covers more of her head in reverence. Male headship continues throughout all generations, but Paul still makes it clear that both man and woman are made in the image of God. Overall, what should we be taking away from 1 Corinthians 11, 2 through 16? Simply this, that men should not try to look like women and take on the roles that God specifically called women to do, and that women shouldn't look like men and take on the roles that God specifically called men to do. Instead, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ when we understand the text.